probably should move this a little bit. There we go. Hello, everyone. I should get my phone out. Hello, everyone. Hello. What's happening? How's the, how's the lighting? It should be all right. I think we're good. I think we're good. Uh, we have... Raven Riley, AJ, Evelyn, Texas Annie, Bob Messina, Calendar Page, Austin Gaming, Saku, Setala, Thinking AI, Lucerne, Mimi, Mr. Kitty, Amy. Got people watching on Twitch as well. We're really doing this. Hey, Ronald Egnor is here. Hey, Ronald, what's up? We're really doing this, guys. We are really doing it. Uh, Mila Bakes and Han Niskatuki is here. Really doing this. Let me just make sure the brightness is up. Sorry, give me a moment. That's what the problem was. That's what the problem was. Okay, we're good. David Lowenthal, Jackie M, Dolly Mama Drama, Linda Forsyth, Texas Annie, We're really going to try doing this. How about that? We're really going to try mopping. I need to move this up and point it down. What if I move it up a little more and then angle it down a little more? Is that going to work? Yeah, there, that's a little better. I think. Maybe really, really get in there. Get to that floor. There we go. There are the two mops right there. We got two mops. Lisa says you can come mop my house. Basic J, JK Sinar. Big O, BGOG. Evelyn in Maine. Hello, everyone, hello. Joanne Powey. Povey from the UK. <clears throat> We got two mops. Uh, I've never mopped in here. I've been meaning to mop the floor forever. Gosh, I've already lived here like two years and I haven't mopped. I, I vacuum, I vacuum, but I don't mop. So I've been meaning to try mopping. I have these two mops that I got like last year and I haven't tried them. So we're gonna try the two mops. Uh, the, what is it? The the Bo Shang mop, I, I put the links to both of the mops in the description. Oh, I don't know if the Twitch people can see the description. Maybe I'll, pu I'll put them in the Twitch chat. Hold on, I'm gonna put them in the Twitch chat. Well, is this gonna work? Maybe one of the mods can do it. Do we have any mods on Twitch right now? If we don't, I'll do it, in, I'll do it later. But um, in the YouTube, video in the description, there are links to both the mops. So I can go, uh, I can put it in Twitch. I don't know if we have a mod there. If not, I'll just do it myself. We'll eventually have a mod. Unknown Challenger is here, Raven Riley. Hmm. 
Hmm. Ulands is here. No, I think Ulands tried to do it, but you can't. I think if you're a viewer, you can't just post in the chat there. I'll, I'll post it on Twitch. I'm going to post. Uh, I don't even know if I'm signed in on Twitch. Let's see. Can I do it like this? Maybe I can do it like this. Oh, hold on a second. I think I can maybe do it. Okay, copy. Now let me go over to Twitch. Let's see. Can I do this on Twitch? Am I, if I'm signed in, I can do this. Oh, I just did it. I posted it on Twitch. I just posted the links on Twitch. Might as well post them on YouTube too, even though they're in the, even though they're in the description. There you go. Okay. So we got two mops, and I'm going to try them both on this floor. How does that sound? Um, I don't know which one to try first. There's a spray mop. The one on the right's like a spray mop, where you spray. It comes with this solution. And you spray it on, you spray the floor and you wipe it up. The other one is this thing, which you like fill up half of it with solution and then you wring out the other half. So which one should I try first? Probably the easier one. Maybe the, maybe the spray one is easier to try first. You think the spray one is easier to try first? The Bona Mop. Maybe the Bona Mop. This is the Bona Mop. Whoa. It comes, it comes with solution. It comes with cleaning solution. What is it, how does it even work? Oh, there's this. Uh, Bona. We'll try the spray one first. So the idea of this one is, now I think in, well, they might not recommend it. In theory, if you run out of the stuff, you can get more, but maybe you could replace it with your own stuff. I'm not sure. Uh, so um, let's try this. We got the Bona Mop, which is not that, I mean, it's like, what is it, five pieces? You can wash. All right. Bona Mop. It's the Bona Mop. Clean in no time. All right, it says, beautiful clean floors are just around the corner. With Bona, you can spend less time cleaning and more time finding your zen. Well, uh, uh, Bimbi says, those are refillable, save the cap. So the first thing I need to do is put, hang on, there's a bunch of pieces here. The first thing I need to do, oh, this is two pieces, I think. Or is this already, this is already on here. All right, these two have already been put together. So I gotta put the, something into this bottom one. Oh, this one. This and this go together. So it says, Bona facing the front and then this face and the button face in the front, and you just push down like this. Oh, I see. It says, hold this thing up and put, push the thing down into it. All right, let's see. The silver button, ensure that the, ensure that the swivel Knuckle is vertically upright before attachment. So there's the swivel knuckle right here. This should just go in. Maybe I should put it on the ground. It worked, it worked. I didn't break it, look. Look guys, there you go. This thing is washable, by the way. Okay, we're almost there. All right, we have this. 
Now we have to attach, attach upper spray mop handle to lower pole by aligning the grooves and pushing together until a click is heard. Okay. Oh, remove before assembling the mop. This is the Bona mop. The Bona spray mop. I'm so excited. Ooh, this is like, this is all rubbery here. Okay, so this we have to align the grooves like this. Uh, that sort of worked. I thought I aligned it. It worked. It's all, it's together. I hope it's together. I mean, it's, it's snapped in. I think, it, I think I did it right. I think I did it right. There's the handle. There's this thing. Okay, guys. We're, we're very close to being able to mop here. Look at this. Wow. Okay. Now the last thing is we're going to take the solution and the bonus solution right there. Look at that, right? That's the step we need right there, the last one. Remove cap from cleaning cartridge and engage into the cartridge enclosure by pushing in until a click is heard. This sounds dangerous. Your mop is now ready to use. Whew. So what am I doing here? Okay, so I have this thing and I gotta put it in here. Like goes like, I guess like, oh yeah, it goes like this. I got to take the cap off and then put it like this, like that. I see. I see. Uh, so it says, remove the cap and engage into the cartridge enclosure. Yes, the floor is real wood. So the first thing I can do is remove the cap. Oh, I just removed the cap. Okay. That was easier than I thought. That's the cap is off. So I gotta just, I guess I just, I gotta push this into this thing. Get ready guys, here we go. It says Bona on it, are you ready? I hope this works, I hope I don't mess it up. Get ready. It snapped in, I think I did it. I think it worked. I think it worked. So we have the mop part and the liquid Okay, now uh, I guess I'm gonna have to spray this, spray it. Let me get rid of the box. So, I'm not gonna do the whole thing because I gotta save the other half, half for, the, for the other mop. Time to clean, exactly. I have never mopped in here, in the two years I've been here. So this is the Bona mop. I guess, I guess I, there's like this, I guess I, what do I pull down on here and then it sprays the, the cleaning liquid? Is that what happens? Hmm. You can attach an external cam to the broomstick. Oh, like a close-up thing? I don't think that's going to work the way I'm doing this stream. But what I can do is, well, maybe I'll, I'll show you a close-up when I've cleaned a little bit. So it says, where's the how to use it? It, it tells you how to put it together. It literally doesn't say how to use it. How do you use it? It doesn't say how to use it. It just says how to put it together. Thanks to our mods, by the way. Does anyone have one of these? This is the Bona one. Let me check some of the chat messages. I wonder if it'll make a difference on this floor. Like, like am I gonna even notice anything or not? Infinite Velocity says, let's find some Zen. Yes, I bought these. I did buy these uh, Lurker Lemon. I bought these last year and I never used them. 
Linda doesn't think it's going to make a difference. Squeeze the trigger and mop, says Gardening with Susie. You will notice after two years of no mopping, says Mimi. Push button, spray, and go back and forth, says Carol. You put the mop on the floor and mop. Well, I think you got to spray the stuff. The handle has a trigger. I'd start with that. I think I'm going to do that, Rick. What did Polly say? Just clap your hands while doing three laps around the mop. That'll get you started. Squeeze trigger. So I guess what I'm going to do is I'm going to squeeze this trigger and see if it sprays anything. All right, I'm going to see if you guys can see this. So you guys can see where the mop is right here. I know it's a little far away. So I'm going to spray and see if anything happens. I don't even know where the sprays come. I mean, it's got, I guess it's got to come out of here. All right, I'm going to squeeze the trigger now. Oh, okay. The, it, it just sprays it right. It, it sprays a little bit right in front of the mop. So now let me, oh, I see. Huh, that's interesting. Oh, you guys see, you hear, you hear that? It sprays it right in front of the mop. You know what? This is going to be difficult. You know why it's going to be difficult? Because this floor is not like that smooth. This is a very old floor, and some of the wood is like, you know, kind of, some of the finishing is kind of up. It's kind of a little rough, this floor. And the, the, uh, the, um, the uh, microfiber cloth is catching on it. I can do this, though. See, this is fine. When you get in, some of the, some of the wood's a little beaten up. It's an old house. Now, can I tell a difference? Let's see. I see the idea here. Let me, let me go over here and do it. And then I'll, I'll do a close-up and you guys can come over and see. It's, it's a neat thing though. It squirts. It just sprays the stuff out right in front of the mop. Huh. That's interesting. Oh, I'm, I'm seeing some shine. Hey, breaking news. The floor is starting to shine. No joke. The floor is shining. Well, this is interesting. This is fascinating. I'm going to show you guys what this looks like. This is very exciting. I want to see if you can see the shine. I am feeling a little more zen right now. I got to say, this is kind of fun. All right. Um, so I'm going to show you guys what it looks like now. Okay, we're going to take the phone off and I'm going to... Let me take the phone off and let me show you guys what it looks like, okay? I'm gonna take this phone off of the stand and I'm gonna carry you over there and hopefully you can see the difference. Oopsie. Tighten that up. Okay. Now, can you see it? I might be able to see it from over here. So look. Can you guys see, that's the line on the left is, on the left is the part I actually, uh, on the left is the part I have actually mopped and on the right I didn't. See there, there's the difference. That's the line. That is the line. I know I should go in the direction of the boards. Now, I don't know if that's just because it's wet, but I mean, that is the line right there. It is a little shiny. That's not, I mean, it's, you know, it's kind of hard to see. I, oh, I, I missed a spot. I, got, I missed that spot right there. Oops. Bad mopper. Hey, let me show you what it looks like. Let me show you what, watch this, guys. Well, I'm going to spray, and I want you to watch what happens when I spray. Watch this. You see that? Action shot. Watch the action shot right here. I'm going to spray again. Whoa. See, that's how it works. That's how it works. Maybe if I did this during the day, it would be more clear. Is the pad dirty? Okay, let's look at the pad. I haven't been mopping for that long. <laughs> let's see what the pad looks like. Uh, if I can do this. There's the pad. It is getting some dirt, yes. Also got a little of the wood. Like I said, the wood over here is kind of beaten up, you know. That's not from me. But it is picking up some dirt. 
Okay, so we see the idea of this one. Um, this thing, it's a little heavy because you have this thing on it. So it's not the lightest mop because this thing is full of liquid. So you're lugging that around. Um, but, uh, but um, Darren says, go over a very dirty spot. It's a little hard for me to see. I mean, like, it's sort of tough to see the difference. <laughs> I mean, I know it's picking up dirt, but I feel like maybe I'd have to like do some more and then see get get an overall get an overall sense of if it's shining more. I mean, that looks nice and shiny there, which it normally does not look that shiny. Yeah, I mean, look at that compared to that. I I do think I'm seeing more of a shine where I did mop. Shaft says, I have the same one. So again, just to show you again, it's called the Bona. And it's this mop here. And then you, you squeeze the trigger right here and watch what happens. Boop. And the liquid sprays out. And it's nice. You don't have to, you know, you're not dealing with a big pot. You're not dealing with a big bucket of, of stuff. There's no bucket. There's no bucket. Now, they sell the cleaner. It came with a thing of cleaner. Um, I don't know if they don't recommend you replace it. Some of the people in the Amazon reviews said, I just put my own mixture in there. I don't see why physically you couldn't put your own mixture there when this is used up, but I don't know what they say about that. So maybe the company's like, don't do that. But I don't know why you couldn't put your own mixture in there when this is done. Um, Cheryl says like a swipper mop. All right, so should, maybe we should try the other one. This is kind of fun, though. Whoa, it, hey, wait, I, just, I just did some more spraying. Ruth says you could. It's just fun to do this because I'm like, man, I probably should have done this before. Yeah, that's a tough area over there, right over there where the, where the, where the floor is kind of ripped up. All right, this is interesting. All right, so we got this kind of, that, that, that's basically been done. This over here has not been done. Uh, let's see. Dolly Mama Drama said, what are they going to do if you add your own solution? Send the Boma, Bona police after you. Okay, maybe we should try the other one. You want to try the other one? I think we get the idea of this one. So that's good. All right, we're gonna, let me put you back up here. I thought that was gonna be hard. That was, a, that was less traumatic than I thought it would be. We're gonna do the other one now. I'm adulting. Okay, so that was the Bona one. Very usable, very usable. Now this one is gonna be a little more involved, this next one. Oh, hold on, I wanna just make sure I'm seeing some of the comments. Ruth says it gets the job done. Again, it's a little heavy because you have the liquid on it, um, you know. Maybe a good point is I was reading about mopping wood floors and supposedly on wood floors, you're not supposed to have it be that. You don't wanna have excess water. So certainly this helps with the excess liquid issue because you're not dipping in a bucket. Uh, Ruth says, mine is a Swiffer. Tyler says, I have a steam Swiffer mop. Um, Janet, Jane Michigan, Jane in Michigan says, Bona is a good floor care brand. Pezzi says, looks dangerous for bare feet. Any more dangerous? Why dangerous? Because you'll slip? That's probably with any mop, no? Uh, let's see. Bubba Twitcher here. Pezzy is here. Pezzy says looks like a larger Swiffer mop. Bubba Twitcher says like the Boston Garden. Is the floor slippery? Great question. Um, I'm stepping on the floor. This floor is not slippery right here. I mean, it's not the super smoothest floor. So, but the floor is not slippery. At least this one isn't where I am. That doesn't mean it won't be for you on your floor, but at least where I'm walking, I don't feel slip, it's not slippery. 
Lurker Lemon asked me that. Okay. Maurice says you'd have to wax it to be slippery. Maybe if it was like a tile floor, it might be. I'm not sure. Uh, let's see. Okay. So. Uh, Bob says that finish is amber shellac strip sand and new finish would make it like new. So the, I rent here. I don't own this place. So I'm not going to be doing anything with the floors, but it is an old floor. So, you know, it's not, it's not new. It works fine for me, but, you know, old floor. Now, by the way, I, the thing about like, like this mop, I, could all, I will also use it in the kitchen kind of thing, you know. So there's that. Oh, I missed a gift membership. Who gave a gift membership out? Hey, thanks for modding AJ, Linda Bell, K Body, Raven Riley. Michael A gave some gift memberships. Hey, Michael A, thank you. I appreciate that, Michael A. Thanks so much. Okay, so you've seen the Bona spray mop. Now, all right, now we're gonna get in a little crazy. We're gonna get a little crazy now. That one was pretty, pretty simple. This one is a little more complex. Now we're going to try the, where is it here? This one, uh, the Boshang, Boshang Easy Squeeze Mop and Bucket System. So there's, there's two sides of this thing in here. And one is for the, 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 with the liquid and the other one you dry it off in. Wet or dry mopping, 360 rotation mop head, washable microfiber fad, blah, 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 blah. Okay, let's get crazy, exactly. So this is, oops, see how there's two openings in here. Oh, so this is the mop head. And then this is washed, the liquid goes in here and then you wring it out in here, I guess. And that side rings it out. That side you dip it in. So there's the, there's, the, there's the wash side in the middle and the dry side on the side, I guess. Yeah, that seems to be what it is. Uh, now, what am I doing here? Oh, this comes off. All right, this, we know what this is. Does this come off? What happens here? Let's see. Uh, we have, oh, all, here's all the pieces. This is the, the mop. And then there's one, there's, a, there's two extra, it looks like there's a couple extra of the, of the cloths. That's nice. How do I get these out? Look. It comes with, I think, two extra of these. That's something. I don't know if this top is supposed to come off. I don't think it does. So it's a little different, difficult to get these things out. Oh, there you go. There's the other one of those. Fine. And then there's like instructions, I think. Oh, there it is. All right, there you go. So, manual. Okay, put the mop together, put the microfiber cloth. Oh, the, the top does come off, well, so there. How does the top go on? I'm a little confused with this thing. Just pull it off like this, it's a little confusing. Oh, this comes off. Oh. I'll, ha I'll have to read up on the, how taking the top off. It's a little, it doesn't really, the, also these are very small, these instructions, and they don't really explain how to take the top off. <laughs> step one. Let's start with step one. Step one. Uh, Connect the mop handle and twist tight. Okay. Uh, 
Marilyn says, I was conflicted between one of these and a spin mop, so I got a spin mop. Okay, so here is the handle. It says Boshang on the handle. It's a little rubber on it. One, two, three. Which one is the bottom one? I assume it's this one. One, two, three, yes. So this goes in here. That looks like it went in. This goes in here. Good, that one's tight. That one's tight. Then this goes in here. Wonderful, oh, look at that, look at that. All good, all good, wonderful. And then the last one is here. This one goes in here, this way up. Okay, I have successfully assembled the mop. By the way, the Bona mop head is bigger. I don't know if you can see this. The Bona mop head is bigger than this head. See that? Hang on. So Bona will, you get more mop head. It's wider. The Bona mop is heavier because you're carrying the liquid on it. You're not carrying the liquid on this one. Okay, so that's done. Wasn't too hard to assemble. Step two, locate the three tabs found on the mop head and insert, this tells you how to get the, how to, how to get the, the cloth on this. I don't have to do this because it's already on here. One's already on here, so I don't have to worry about that. Fine, that's done. That step is done. Step three, fill wash tub with water up to the water level. Please ensure you do not overfill. Four, fold the mop as illustrated. Five, place the mop arrows down into the wash tub, moving up and down until the mop head looks clear of debris. Six, move the mop arrows down into the dry side to squeeze, in, squeeze out moisture to your liking. Then mop the floor. Step seven, dump the dirty water and rinse the container when done. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is, see there's the wash tub and the dry tub. So what I need to do is, I need to fill up the top, this part in here, and then to then once, when I want to get the liquid, oops, when I want to get the liquid on it, I'm going to put this in there like that. It's going to be on the ground. But, oh, no, I got to do it the other way, I guess. That way. I'll show you here. There, you put it, you, you, to get the liquid on, you put this like that. And then you, I guess you just lift it up like that. And then to, draw, and then, then to, to wring it out, you do this. Okay. Now, it said use water. I was going to use water in a little bit of uh, maybe Murphy's oil soap, right? Like a cleaning solution. I was reading Murphy's oil soap. It said use, I think it said use a quarter cup per gallon. And this wouldn't be a gallon. So I was maybe going to put a little bit of like an ounce of, early, of Murphy's oil soap in. Mixed water and cleaning solution. So I'm gonna fill this up with water and I'm gonna put a little bit of cleaner in there, not much, okay? So you guys hang out, hang out for a second. I'm gonna put some water in this and then we'll come back and try it out. I hope this works. I hope this works. I hope it doesn't spill all over the place when I'm trying to put it in there. Let's see.
Okay, here goes nothing. You know, I forgot I had my microphone on. I could have told you guys what I was doing. Okay, so what I have is, if you look in here, the liquid is all on the left side. And on this side here, th that's dry because that's where you're going to put it in to squeeze it out. So you're going to wet it by putting it into this side here, if that makes sense. All right, so let me show you how we do this, if I can do this right. So you take this, and you're going to put this. I almost want to hold the camera while doing this. This could be dangerous. Can I do this with one hand? Actually, let me, you know, let me pull this over here. Here we go. Ready? All right, let's, let's do action shot here. I hope this works. Ugh. Okay, so to wet it, you put it in here. Uh, this way, I guess. Okay, see now it's, now it's getting wet. I guess it's getting wet. Yes, it's getting wet. It's getting wet. And then to, to wring it out, the excess moisture, you do this. I guess. Oh, it's wringing out. It actually is wringing out. I can see it wringing out. And now I'm going to start, wow, this is a nice angle here. Now I'm going to start mopping. I want to mop like right over here. Okay. Ooh, 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 ooh. Oh, it said this way up. This way up? I don't know if I was doing that the right way. What do you guys think about this? How about that? Now, this thing, I think it's not as long as the other one. Let me see. Length comparison. Uh, it's about the same height. This one's a little higher, the blue one, the Bona one. Um, this is lighter because you're not carrying around the cleaning liquid with you. But it also has a smaller head than the Bona one. Hmm. Now this, I am, this is probably wetter than the other one was. I probably have more liquid on it. You got to make sure you don't bump into this thing. Now let me just show you what we do here. Say I want to wash this off. It says this way up. I think it means like this. So you do this, right? Oh, it locks into place. See, it locks in like this. Then we're going to take it back over here, and I'm going to dip it into the liquid side right here. Ooh, wow. That's fun. And then I'm going to wring it out by putting it to this one. See, that rings it out. This is fascinating. So you wash it out in, okay, so I see. So you wash it out on this side, and then you wring it out on this side. Then we're ready to go again. Let me take some comments while I'm doing this. This is actually very fun. I'm really enjoying this. Yeah, now the water is dirty, I know. There's only one, you gotta like keep this thing out of your way. I'm gonna bump into that thing and spill it all over the place. Um, you know, one thing I'll say about this one is it's lighter when you're actually mopping. It's lighter, because you're not mopping with a big tank of stuff on it. Linda says the other one will be faster because you're not squeezing out and stuff. What do you guys think? Yeah, you are like, so it's that thing where this has cleaning solution in the bucket in it. When, when this gets like, you're, 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 there's not two comp compartments. So like you're dipping it in kind of the dirty water and then wringing it out. I, I never mop. I don't know if that's how you do it anyway. But so it's not like it's not like there's there's two sides of water, the clean water and the dirty water. Huh? What's the theory on that? By the way, I do really enjoy doing this. This one is easier to get wetter. Although that might be a problem with a wood floor, because you don't want a wood floor to be wet. I mean it's not that wet, but 
It's good to have one way to do a click clean and one way to do a deep clean. This is fun though, look at this. I wonder what this looks like here. It's kind of hard to see dirt because it's gray. It's not dirty water if you do it right. Well, what do you mean? You're supposed to wash it first, right? When you use it, not dry it first. It says, move the mop arrows down into the dry side. Right, place the mop arrows down into the wash tub side, moving up and down until the mop head looks clear of debris. So you wash it in the water side. Then it says, move the mop arrows up down into the dry side to squeeze out moisture to your liking. So, I mean, there's only one side with liquid in it. You wrung it out after you mop? No, you put it in, you're supposed to, literally the instructions say, you put it in here you're saying, you're saying don't put it in the water side anymore? Because what the wash, the water side is called the wash side to them. They say when you put it in the water, you're washing off the debris. No, Kay, you're wrong. Kay, I literally just read the instructions. Kay saying you should just wring it out in the dry side. But no, what, what, the, what the instructions say is the water side is the wash side. Kay says, I have one. Well, whether you have one or not, you haven't read the instructions, Kay. Because I literally just read the instructions. Place the mop arrows down into the wash tub side, moving up and down until the mop head looks clear of debris. Then next step, move the mop arrows down into the dry side to squeeze out moisture to your liking, then mop the floor. Repeat the process if necessary. So whether you have it or not does not change what the instructions say. <laughs> That's what the instructions say. Don't blame me if it's wrong. Tell the company. Take it up with the company, Kay, not me. Show us, oh, Squishmallow says show us the instructions. Look, look at step five and step, step five and six. There you go, that proves it. Step five and six. Yeah, Kay says, let me get my shoes on, I'm coming over. Step five and six, there you go, that's the proof right there. That's the proof, step five and six. You know, your possessing it is irrelevant. What's going on over there on Twitch? Uh, Bubba Twitch says, looks like a nightmare. Yeah, you know, Jane says it might be too wet for this floor. I don't know. I mean, I'm squeezing it out. I, it's hard to say because I, don't, I haven't done it on this floor. So I don't know how wet is this floor right now. Yeah, you know, the floor is still a little wet. That is a concern I have. And maybe it's just a function of this floor. So what I could do is I could break the rules if I wanted to. I could break the rules and not do it their way and do what Kay said and just wring it out some, right, like this. That's not really wringing it out much, though. Nothing really came out of there. It's just nothing really came out. It's just I don't know if this is still too damp. Because it is. I will say the floor is looking nice. I'm not complaining how the floor is looking right now, but it does seem like it's a little damp. Uh, Ulan says, uh-oh. Um, X Room says, I would use the mop only for plastic floor. The moisture and dirt will sink in the wooden floor holes and spaces in between the wood pieces. So to be clear, the Bona literally is made for hardwood floors. You're supposed to be able to use this one on floors too. But maybe it's too wet for it. I don't know. If I check here, 
I'm going to post the links to them again. I had the links before. Wait, hold on. Let me, I'll, I'll pull up the links to the two. I'm going to post the links to the mops again. Hold on. I just posted the links to the mops on YouTube. I'll post them again on Twitch. So this is the, this, the top one is, right, now I'm looking at Amazon. Uh, floor mop and bucket, it says, Boshang. Microfiber mop pads. I mean, literally, there's someone cleaning a wood floor in, 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 the actual, in the actual ad for it on Amazon. That's the product page on Amazon. There are th- there's several pictures of it being used on a wood floor. That is the company, that's the official pictures. The wood floor needs to be dried now. I'm just going over it with the cloth now, with, with this microfiber thing. It does look cleaner. Let me take some comments here. Let me ask the chat cleaning experts. Hey, chat cleaning experts. Uh, Gary says it'll be fine. Amy says it will dry in no time. Uh, maybe we'll do a little different part of the floor or something. Let's go over here. Let's move this over, and we're going to do this part of the floor right here. All right, so let's try both of these again, just for the fun of it. Where's this thing? This thing has a handle. How does the handle come up? I don't even know. What do I do? Oh, there's the handle right there. So this this thing has a handle, so you can carry it around. All right, so in case you missed it, this is the first one. This thing is so much heavier, but it has a much bigger uh, cleaning head on it. This, the one I'm carrying right now, the Bona one, it is much heavier because you're carrying around the liquid, although the liquid is full. Uh, backseat mopper says Trax and Relax. Has anyone ever done this by hand? Anyone clean their floors by hand? I saw a video on YouTube where a guy was doing it by hand, and he said it's, he said it's really, like, relaxing to do. All right, so this one, look, look what happens here. This is the one where you squeeze it and the liquid comes out, sprays out. See that, guys? And then you just do this. This, this cleaning head is so much bigger than the other one. Uh, Linda says, no way I'd clean those by hand. This is kind of fun to do. I'm not going to lie. Gary says, we have one like that. It doesn't work as well. This is fun. You just spray. You spray it. Look, spray. Wow. I'm pretty excited about my floor getting clean. (laughs) Guys, did I mention to you I've lived here for two years and never mopped the floor? Uh, Tyler says the Bona has my vote. Oh, I'm, I'm losing you over here. Yeah, this is really fun. I'm actually, hold on, let me, let me fix this. Uh, I got to say, I'm pretty excited about the prospect of mopping now. I'm very excited to mop, uh, to mop, uh, to mop in here, and then in the kitchen too, and in the bathroom. Just go around mopping. But now it's it's so nice to know that this is, uh, this is like clean now. This is not really wet anymore, guys, by the way. This is not really wet. That's a little bit. 
Not really. Can I notice a difference if I go over here? I don't know. It feels cleaner. It feels cleaner in here. Lois Cox says, I love a clean floor. So these things, what do you do when you're done? Um, you dump the dirty water out of that one and, and, and uh, rinse the container. That's pretty easy. And then how do you do it? I think these microfiber cloths, you can just throw into the wash, I believe. I believe they're just washable, if I have that right. Don't hold me to it, but I believe they are. Raven says, Murphy smells so good. Now the bonus says, cleaning the microfiber cloths, uh, wash in warm water, air or tumble dry low, do not use bleach, do not use fabric softeners, do not wash with articles that shed lint. That's the, um, that's the Bona one. My guess is that this one might be similar. Starfire says I'd throw it away. No. This is what one of the, now this you get three of these with the uh, you get three of these with the you get one of them with the bona maybe you can buy extra and you get three of them with the uh, with the uh, what's that Boshang one. Okay, so this is actually really, really neat. This is exciting. I'm excited. I'm very excited about this. So which one do I prefer of the Bona or the Boshang? Well, okay. First of all, this one is significantly heavier if you have a bunch of liquid in here than this one. So this one is heavier which may be an advantage for this one, for the Boshang. However, this one has a bigger cleaning head, which I would say advantage Bona. Uh, this one has a little handle on it, a curved handle. The Boshang, which I think is more, the Bona has a curved handle, which I think is more comfortable than the Boshang, and it's a little bit longer. Um, the Bona squirts out liquid. This thing you, 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 uh, you dump it in here, and then you rinse. You, you dip it in the liquid, and then you then you uh, wring it out. Um, if you want more liquid on your mop, I would go with the Boshang. But if you're worried about too much liquid on your mop, I, I mean, I know the the bone is going to be more control over the liquid because you're spraying it. Also, this is made. It's I think it's called a hardwood floor mop. So, if you're looking for, I don't want to have too much liquid on my mop. Maybe go with the spray one, the Bona. Um, this one, you buy the things of solution and you put them in. And some people in the reviews say when this is out, they just put their own solution in here. Um, whereas this one, clearly you just put whatever you want in here because it's just a bucket. So I think they're good for different things. Um, again, this is a little heavy. So there's something about this. This is heavy, but, but you have everything with you. Whereas this one is light, but you got to bring that bucket around with you, right? Whereas this one, there's no bucket. You just bring the whole thing with you. I don't know. I, I, I see advantages to both of them. I don't know what you guys think about this, but these are some different advantages. And oh, I'm gonna, I got to keep them both because they're both like a year old. <laughs> they're both like 10 months old or something. Does the lightweight one have an extendable handle? No, not that I can tell. Can we vote? Um, I don't know if I can do a vote. Actually, I might be able to do a poll. Can I do a poll? Uh, let, me, let me see if I can do a poll, guys. I'm going over to the computer here. Um, hang on a second. I'm going over to the computer, and I will try to do a poll by doing it on the desktop. Uh, give me one moment here. I need one moment. I'll try to do it on both platforms. Okay, yes, start a poll. Which mop do you like better? Uh, Bona 
spray mop, uh, bow shang, mop with bucket. Okay, so I am posting this poll in YouTube right now. I just posted it. Now, let's see if I can post it on Twitch. One moment here. I'm posting it on Twitch. Which mop do you like better? Okay, I've posted it on Twitch. I just posted the poll on Twitch. Uh, let's see what's going on on YouTube. Can I see the poll on YouTube from here with my, on my phone? Why doesn't it come up on my phone? Did it come up on my phone? Let's see. I think I got a... Could you guys see the poll on your phone? I could see it on the desktop. Uh, April Coco says, having the back of the treadmill so close to the wall makes me nervous. If you trip, you can get hurt and stuck between wall and moving thread. Um, thank you, April Coco. It's been there for two years. I haven't had a problem. Also, um, I, don't, I tend to run towards the front of the treadmill if that makes you feel better. I'm really not running towards the back. Um, actually, the treadmill is longer than it looks. That angle makes it look like a short treadmill. It is, it is longer. It is not a short treadmill. It is, it is, it's a decent length. So... Uh, I'm not really close to the back of it, but I appreciate your concern. Oh, cost difference. What is the cost difference? Uh, what, now, why can't I see the poll on the phone? Could you guys not see it on the phone or could you see it on? You could see it on the phone, yes? I don't know why I couldn't see it on my phone. So let me go to my iPad and check it out there. Okay, I'm on the iPad. Okay, right now, oh, it's asking me which I prefer. I'm gonna vote. It's a hard choice. I, I honestly don't know. I'm gonna pick one, but I'm kind of torn between the two. So I'll just pick one, but just to pick. Okay, the spray mop, the Bona has 79% on YouTube. 79% on YouTube spray mop. And on Twitch, the results right now, oh, uh, results right now, thank, uh, uh, hold on a second, on Twitch the results are 83% spray mop. Oh, thanks by the way to uh, Texas Smoke 9111. Thank you, Texas Smoke, that's very kind of you, I appreciate that. Um, that's very nice of you, thank you. So it looks like you guys prefer the, uh, the spray mop to the other one. Now, what is the price difference on it? Right now, the non-spray one, the Boshang with the bucket is $31.99. $31.99 on Amazon for the non-spray mop. And how about the spray mop? The spray mop is... I'm not, I'm not logged in. It says $41.99, but is there, a, is there a prime discount? Hold on a second. Hardwood concentrate, $37.99? Let me check this out. Let me check it on, out on my desktop here. Yes, it says $41.94 for the hardwood, if you buy it with the hardwood liquid, not hardwood concentrate. It's $37.77 if you buy it with hardwood concentrate. So, so the, the, um, the spray mop's a bit more expensive. Oh, I think I missed a donation. Oh, no. Oh, I got it. Oh, I got it. I got that one. Thank you. Well, let me read some more comments here from you guys. I'm very happy. It's, it's really stupid how long it took me to do this, to open these things, because I'm going to do my, my kitchen uh, in my bedroom, like I just haven't mopped. It's so stupid. It, it will not take that long to mop this room. It's really dumb that it took me so long. 
I don't know, guys. It's pretty stupid of me. Uh, let's see. Hang on. Getting to the comments. Um, Sherry Anna says, Bona, the spray one, is a great daily mop. Lois Lois says, the best mop is wall-to-wall -wall carpets. I like my floor. Uh, Texas Annie says, too many things to do with that little bucket thingy. I could see, what if you had like a really dirty job and you wanted a lot of liquid? You might get annoyed with the spray. You might think it's not enough liquid. Joe Hart is here. Um, Rob Zoso thinks keeping everything together is best. I think he's saying that about the spray mop because it has the cleaner on it. Um, JANP says, neither. I prefer mops like the one with the bucket, yet without the bucket, and just carry a spray bottle around the area that I am mopping. That's interesting. Sherry Anna thinks Bona is more complete, convenient, and better. Analog Warmth thinks Bona by a mile. Jan does it on her knees. Again, I saw a video by somebody who swears by doing it on their knees, and they just clean it by hand. Randy J thinks they're both equally impressive. Dizzy Dale is here. <laughs> Pony Boy says Bone is on my bucket list. Uh, David Green's monitoring. Thanks, David. Canuck says potentially spilling the bucket could cause a lot more damage to your home, also. It's a good point. I mean, if you, if you think you might spill the bucket, that is a reason to, to like the Bona because there's no bucket around. That is a good point. Sassy McSuss face is here. All right. This is interesting. I kind of want to do, I'd like to do like maybe one more thing. Uh, let's do, let's do, hold on. All right, we're going to do bonus coverage here. We're going to do one more. We're going to mop one more thing. We're going to mop one more thing. Bonus mopping coverage here because the kitchen is very, it's a very old floor in the kitchen. It's this green tile thingy. So let's swing this around here, and can you guys... There's not supposed to be any... I gotta turn the, the, the uh, alerts off. There we go, that's better. The alerts are supposed to be off on the phone. There we go, we're all good. We're all good now. All right, so this, we're gonna, bonus coverage. Bonus coverage, we are going to uh, do this floor here, this little section here, just for the fun of it. Bonus coverage. We'll see how it works on this. I don't even know what this is called, this flooring. At some point, I believe this flooring is going to be replaced. But this is all old, this in here. We'll see what people say. Let me just check the, check the news for a second. Nobody said there's breaking news. Meg Sweet says breaking bonus. Yeah, this is, it's, it's, it's due to be redone. This is like falling apart, this floor. But it has its charm. Yeah, this was like, yeah, I think it is like a, some sort of peel and stick thing. This is probably decades old. Hey, thanks to, uh, somebody sent a super chat. Oh, Texas Smoke. Thank you, Texas Smoke 9111. I appreciate that. Uh, let me just do a quick, quick news check here. Let me make sure I'm not missing anything while I'm mopping. Did I miss something while mopping? Nobody said anything. Ch 
checking here. Hey, was there like an up, a big upset? I don't want to tell people if, they're, if they want. They, I don't want to spoil it. I think there might have been a big upset in the, in the NCAAs. Okay, I think we're good. I right, get ready for bonus coverage, bonus mopping coverage. Oh, um, Hans Niskatuki says with uh, Bona, with Bona, the spray mechanism may also be the weakest link which gets broken first. Interesting. All right, guys, here we go. Which one should we do first? Should we use the spray mop first on this? We're going to do part. We'll, we'll do this part and then this part. So which one are we going to do first? Are we going to do the spray mop first or the boshang first? Which would you like me to do first? The spray mop or the mop with the bucket? We're going to do this section in here. Spray mop. Spray first. Bucket. Oh, two on the left, two on the right, you're saying. We'll do left and right. All right, we're doing the spray first. The first is spray. So we're going to do left and right. Okay, so here is the spray mop. Get ready. Get ready. So I'm going to do the right side with the spray mop and the left side with the other one. Here we go. Ready? Get ready. Why is this thing all like this? I need this like this. Now watch. You're going to see it. You should be able to see it spray. There it is. It just sprayed. I'm going to spray it again. See it sprayed. There we go. Wow. This has not been, I have not mopped in here ever. So we're doing the right side. I just sprayed a couple times. It's not that bright in here, so I can't tell if it's really doing anything. Is it even cleaning? There's a little dirt here, but that might be years and years old. We'll try to clean it. Oh, I got it. Right here. Right there. Oh, you can't see it. Hold on. I'm going to make it so you can see it. Right there, there's like some dirt, and, I, and it just cleaned off when I sprayed it. I don't know if you guys can see that. It's cleaning off. It just cleaned off that little dirt spot right there. I'm so excited. I can't believe it. It worked. It got it, sort of. Wow. It really did work. I can see the dirt disappearing. I'm not kidding you guys. I can see the dirt Disappearing. Let me just get it over here. Okay, that was pretty exciting. That definitely got things a little cleaner. I don't know if you can see it, but I, it, I could see it. The dirt disappeared. <laughs> Randy J says, can you start over? I missed it. Okay, so we're going to get the other mop now, but that was pretty cool. There was like this dirty spot. Look at the pad for dirt. All right, hold on a second. Let me do that. I'll show you the pad. The Bona pad. Uh, there's the pad. It definitely has some dirt on it. No question there is dirt. Okay, guys. That was cool. There was definitely, you know what's much cleaner now? There was all this dirt right next to the wall here. And I, I, got, I got a bunch of it off. That was pretty exciting. Probably hasn't been cleaned in years. Uh, seeing it disappear requires 1080p, says Bob Zosa. All right, so let me, now I'm going to do the left side. There's definitely some dirt like right over here. There's, there's definitely dirty spots on the floor. So let's get the other mop over, over here. And let's see how that does. Let me 
me sneak through here. Okay, so we have our Bosheng mop. So we're going to dip it in the wash side, even though this drives K crazy. So we flip it up. It's locked like this. This is the, this is the wash side with my solution of water with a little Murphy's oil soap, and I'm going to get the debris off. All right, now it's full of liquid, so we want to wring it out in here. Let's wring it out. Let's wring it out on the drying side. Okay, now, I don't know if you guys can see, right over, gosh, can you guys see this? Right, there's some dirt right in here. Maybe, I'm gonna, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna take you guys off of here, and I'm gonna show you action shot, oops. Oh, we have a little hang up here, hold on. Action shot. Okay, what I need to do is show you guys right there. There's that little dirty spot. I don't know if I can get that off. Is it coming off? Oh, it did come off. It did come off. Wow. Wow. Okay, that, how about that little spot right there? Can I get that? Is that going to come off? Oh, yes. Yes, it is. Oh, we got some dirt here. There are some dirty spots here. Oh, there's a bunch of dirt here. The dirt's actually coming. Look at it in there. Oh, no. This is disgusting. Near the wall. Oh, no. There's like, I'm going to have to vacuum after this. All this dirt here. Here, how about that right there? Is that going to come off? See, it did. It did. It came off. That came off too. Wow, all these dirty spots are coming up. Amazing. I could do this right here too. Look at that. Get that done. Some of that's paint. Wow, this is incredible. Uh, there's that little spot right there. Can I get it? That's pretty ground in, I think. Oh, uh, oh, uh, I think it's working. I think it's working. Not there anymore. This is amazing. Who knows how long these spots have been here? on this floor. Well, so you're getting the, you're seeing the, you're getting the idea. You are getting the idea, aren't you? Karen says, come over and clean mine. That was pretty cool. That was, that was pretty solid evidence with both of those. Both of those we just saw, it cleaned. <laughs> it definitely cleaned, uh, Oh, Pardum says the Bosheng is growing on me. So one thing the Bosheng does, you just saw, this one is, the Bosheng is light. Hang on, let me turn myself over this way. Turn back this way. So one thing I did notice, hang on a second. Here we go, okay. One thing this lighter one is good for is if you get a spot and you want to really like go over it a bunch, I actually, you saw what I did is I grabbed it like halfway down and I kind of, I kind of used it like a small handled mop and really got into it. So, uh, yeah, so some of you are saying that the small one is growing on you. It's definitely more maneuverable. If you have like a little spot and you really want to go over that little spot, I think this might be a little more convenient because it's, it's lighter. The other one has the big bottle of liquid on it. But this one is good for like a little spot. You can really get into it. Uh, I mean, you can get into the other one too. It's just heavier, so. Lunali says, I want the Bosheng one. The spray one is clumsy. Wow, people are just abandoning the, the uh, what's it, the Bona one? Man, you guys are fickle. The links himself says, the hardest party ever. You guys are fickle with your mops. Bono will make you strong like bull, says Tom Mix. That was really cool because I have not mopped that floor since I lived here, sadly. I've, I've vacuumed it a number of times. But there's clearly 
uh, dirt spots of ground and dirt that you can get off with the mop. So Steve discovering mopping. How about that? But that was pretty cool. You know, it's, it's, it's easier to see on that floor than this floor. I think it's tougher to see the dirt on this floor. Easier to see on my uh, kitchen floor. But that was cool. I'll do the bathroom too. Um, you know. Uh, the, uh, our viewer, Kay, says the house feels so nice when it's clean. Steam cleaner is the best. I've never had a steam cleaner. Do some of you guys use steam cleaners? Yeah, I think we're going to do one more poll. And then we're going to, I think I'm going to do the poll again and see what people think. Let's try the poll again and see if people have changed their minds. Uh, we're going to, the, the previous poll, we ended the previous poll with 7822. Which do you prefer? Bona, spray mop, Boshang, mop with bucket. Oh, thanks to, wow, Texas Smoke, so nice of you. Texas Smoke 9111 says, please say hello to Karen Elkins in Houston. She's a big fan and will be freaking if she, and she hears her name. I'll get some brownie points. Hey, thanks, Karen Elkins in Houston, for watching. I appreciate that. Thank you, Texas Smoke. That's so nice of you. Let me uh, post the, uh, the, the poll on Twitch again, too. Hey, Twitch, we're doing another poll. New poll. Which do you like best? Okay, we just started the new poll. Uh, knocked, knocked one vagant. Knocked one vagant is here. He says it's a tie between the two mops for making the dirt go away. God is my banner is here. I'm real, no joke, I'm really excited to just mop for hours. I'm kind of like, ugh. When the stream gets over later, I'm just going to mop. You need to try a spin mop? Carlos says, I have a bonus spray mop. Pat W says, I'll, see, I'll stay with my steam mop and Libman wonder mop. So the, the steam mop, what does that do? What does the steam mop do? Raven Riley says, mopping is fun. Oh, Amy says, better clean the bucket right away when done. I'll do it. I'll pour it out when I'm done. Kiwi says, I use a steam mop on the hardwood floors. What is a steam mop? I don't know. Can you explain? Lynn Powell says, mop away, then feel free to mop on down here. Steam mop sanitizes the floor. Kinetic says, you're hired. Steam mops clean at a high temperature. So does it, does it like spray hot stuff on it? Does it come with, you, what do you put, like a water tank on the mop or something? Press a button and steam comes out. It steams the floor. Lynn says steam cleans big time. Cross wave steam mop. I'll look it up on my phone. Steams all your troubles away. Why are you guys so down on these mops? I would think if steam was so great, everybody would just use that and nobody would use the other mops. But plenty of people use the other mops. Steam mop. Oh, I see. Steam mop. Well, now, steam mops are more expensive. I'm looking. Well, actually, now, let's see. Steam mop. No, there's a shark steam mop, and that has, it's 70 bucks. The shark steam mop. Looks like that. How does that work? Shark steam pocket mop. Transforms water into superheated steam in seconds. Huh, interesting. How 
How do you, does it have a battery? Is it battery powered? What power is it? How does it work? How does it work, guys? Something has to power it. Electric. It's plug-in. Oh, you, you plug it in while you're mopping. You plug it in. That's interesting. Fascinating. Works well. Uh, Meg Sweet says, steam mop melts away the dirt with hot water and you can clean things other than floors like stains on carpets. There's also those handheld steam cleaner things which I've never used. But you like spray steam on your cabinets or something like that. Mary McHugh says, mine is a Bissell. Ruth says, Bissell is expensive. expensive. Crosswave? Lynn says, I used to have a, uh, a shark. Look at Bissell. All these cleaning tips. Bissell Steam Mop. They have one for like 90 bucks on Amazon. Um... It says, uh, Bissell Power Fresh Steam Mop with natural sanitation. Oh, uh, Mary says, my Bissell can be used as a handheld. That's interesting. I've never heard of a steam mop. How about that? Oh, wow. Texas Smoke, so generous of you. Jeez. Can we hear you say C.J. Stroud is the future of the NFL? I don't know that that's true. So I'm not going to say it. I'm not going to just say it. He's pretty good, though. Thank you, Texas Smoke. That's really generous of you. Texas Smoke 9111. That's really kind of you. Thank you so much, Texas Smoke. I really appreciate it. Um, The, uh, Cheryl says, I paid a hundred for mine at a discount store. No steam mop on hardwood. Is that true? One of our viewers, Mimi says, no steam mop on hardwood. Is this true? What happened with the pole? For some reason, I'm not seeing the pole on my on my uh, I, on my phone. Let's see. Okay, the poll now on Twitch ended up 50-50, Bona versus Boshang, the poll number two. Bona versus Boshang, poll number two. Even Steven is has Niskatuki says, girly sound came by on there, uh, there, over there on Twitch. Thanks for watching girly sound. Um, on YouTube, the poll Okay, it's a little closer. 63 for the spray mop, 37% for the uh, bucket mop. Steam mops don't need a special solution, just water. Depends on the tarp cop coating. Natural shellac never steams, says Alibaba. Darren says, I just looked up steam mopping and said avoid steam mopping on wood floors. Most of what I have here, most of what, where I rent, most of it is wood floors. Um, Lori and Mike said Google's, and, it's, and this said steam cleaning is absolutely safe for, for sealed hardwood floors. Sealed. I don't know that this is sealed, this one, though, that I'm on right now. It's a good question. This is kind of an older one. Certainly some parts of this look like they're not sealed, this floor. This is an old floor. Hardem says, bonus spray mop fair, uh, barely survives the confidence vote. Mary says, you really don't need the steam mop. Basic J says, this makes me want to mop my floors. No, really. I, I'm so excited. to. I'll probably stay up all night mopping the floors tonight. I'm not kidding you because I'm so excited to do it. It's really stupid, though, because I had these two things sitting here for like a year. They're not hard to use. I mean, literally, you, I mean, you can wash the, you got to wash the, the pads off them eventually. But uh, 
I mean, the spray mop is ready to go. And the Boshang one, you just fill up that container with water and put a little soap in it, you know, put a little Murphy's oil soap or whatever, and it's good to go. So it's, it's not a hard thing to do. Um, so I'm actually excited to do it. Uh, Ruth says it's satisfying to get it all clean. The spray mop is easier. I mean, the spray mop might be a little more expensive if I don't know how, how fast you go through that cleaning solution, right? Because you gotta, if, unless you're gonna use your own cleaning solution in the spray mop, if you're gonna replace it with your own stuff. Um, but if you use theirs, I mean, it doesn't really cost me much to fill up my Boshang bucket. Cheryl says, for what you have, it's great. Okay. That's exciting. Yeah, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna be doing it. I, I'm, I'm actually really excited. The, the kitchen floor that I did looks good. Um, you know, this looks nice here. I'll have to do some more later. I'll have to do some more later. You know what we'll do? Maybe we'll kind of, we'll let the stream go a little longer, but I think I might sit us down at, in the kitchen because I keep talking up to this thing. So I don't mind going a little longer on the stream. Maybe we can talk about a couple more things, but hold on a second. Maybe we'll go into the kitchen. I think that might be the place to go. One moment, please. Mm, let's see. Yeah, why not? Why not? We'll do a little bonus bonus uh, stream coverage. I think the I think the the mopping portion of the stream may be over, but we'll go a few more minutes. Oh, I know what I need to do. I got to get my. Uh, this thing. Oh no, I should get the, uh, the gimbal. I'll get the gimbal out. It's gonna be dark for a second and put you on the gimbal in the kitchen. Then we'll talk about a couple more things. We might as well just do it while we're, while we're live. There's no reason to switch. Let's see if I can make this work. I gotta plug the phone in too, honestly. Ooh, that's gonna be a bit of a challenge. Maybe. I have my adapter though. Okay, we have that. That's good to go. I may lose you as I turn you sideways, but then I'll get you back when I turn you Horizontally, let's see, can I make this work? We want it to be on this side. We're back. All right, it's gonna stop when I put you on the gimbal, I think for a second. Did I do it right? Okay, that's good, we're good to go. We're there, we're great. Wonderful. We're in the kitchen and I got to plug you in. Okay, I need my adapter here. Ooh, is that going to work? Let's see. Let me check the battery on this phone. Hold on. Oh, no, we're good. We're great. We're good on battery. I need my uh, sweatshirt. I need my sweatshirt. One moment, one moment. Okay, better, we're good. 
We're good to go. We're in the kitchen. A little bonus coverage. Bonus stream coverage. Uh, let's see here. So I'm very excited. There's, there's a bunch of dirt on this, on this. I'm looking at the kitchen floor and there's definitely some dirty spots. So I'll definitely be mopping those later. That was exciting. Lynn says some friends of mine got an air fryer today. Oh, uh, Lori and Mike says, Mike and I are talking about getting a blue kettle like your yellow one. Yeah, one of the viewers sent me the yellow kettle and I really like it. I used it a couple nights ago. Oh, I have a story for you. I have a story for you, for you guys, here in our bonus coverage. Sammy Jane says, if you're going to mop, you might want to lose the jacket. Well, I'm not going to mop anymore right this second. You land says, story time. Mm -mm. Okay, so check this out. Hold on. I need a prop. I have a prop I need. So, you know, a snack I like to have once in a while is, is oatmeal. Once in a while I like to have oatmeal. Instant oatmeal, right? Easy to make. You boil up some water and you put one of the packets in. And then you pour water on the pack. It's really easy. Nice little snack. Healthy. So the other night, um, the other night, uh, the, uh, I'm like, it's, it's late, but I'm kind of hungry. And I'm like, I'm going to be hungry if I go to bed. So I'm going to like, you know, I'm going to have some oatmeal. And I'm sitting there thinking like, you know, when I make one of these things, it's, it's, it's just, it's not that much oatmeal. It's just not that much. So I'm thinking, no, I don't add anything to it. I just have the oatmeal in the water. So I'm thinking about it. And I'm sitting there saying, you know, I, I'd like some oatmeal, but I don't know it's going to be enough. I don't think it's going to be enough for me. And then it hit me. And then all of a sudden I got this idea. I can make two at once. I can put two of these into the bowl and then put twice the amount of water and then have a big bowl of oatmeal. And I never realized this. Why did I not realize this? I don't know. It's the first time I ever did it. Felt like I was doing something wrong when I put two of these in the bowl at once. And it was lovely. It was a nice big bowl of oatmeal. I, I don't know why I hadn't thought of doing it before. <laughs> it was great. It was fantastic. It was because I always feel like the oatmeal says, well, why didn't I make two before? Uh, Cheryl says, I do that all the time. One of the viewers said, I always make two packs at once. Who said that? Somebody said that. No, I am serious. God is my banner. I just, I wouldn't think of doing it. I, I don't understand. John says, sometimes you can't double a recipe, but that should be good. I don't know what it was. I don't know why I never thought of doing it. It's so stupid. It was really stupid. When I realized it, I was just like, I don't understand how I hadn't done it before. Uh, Mr. Prawn said, if you add some regular oats in one pack, it's less sugary. These don't have sugar in them, really. I don't think they have any additives. Yes, Gemma Girl, we're talking oatmeal. This is just, there's nothing in it. It's just ingredients. Organic rolled oats. That's what's in here. Budget Girl says, I do that with grit. grits. Yeah, Janet Banks says, one pack is not enough. Have to have two. Also, if you make two and you don't eat it all, it's fine. Pardum says, I would not recommend regularly doing this, 
but a nice little indulgent treat is putting two hot cocoa packs into one cup and keeping the water volume the amount for just one. Wow. Uh, Busy Lizzie says, all these new experiences, Steve. Double packages of oatmeal mopping floors. You should try adding honey. Bob says you can also do one and a half packs and use the other half with the next bash. That is true as well. I don't know if it'll stay well. I'm sure it'll be fine. So that was a cool experience I had. That was like two nights ago. It really blew my brain away to, uh, to have that experience. Let me just check the news. It's been, uh, you know, I know I've been saying this a bunch lately, but we're kind of in that sometimes it's really busy and there's lots of really big news. We're in that lull period right now, right? Where there's not a lot of big news. I mean, there's news, but not a lot of the kind of big news that we usually cover on Agenda Free TV. We're right in that kind that period. Hang on. Just doing a, I was just doing a quick news check, by the way. Oh, I think we're all right. I think we're all right. I think we're good. Okay, uh, let's see here. Hotel USA. I appreciate you watching the news channel. Yeah, I don't want to... Uh, AJ says he got caught up watching the upset in March Madness. I don't want to specifically say it, even though some people are saying in the chat, in case people, some people want, are like recording it for later. Randy Jade likes flavored oatmeal. Why not buy the big container of oatmeal? Um, I've never really thought of buying the big container of oatmeal. So can you, um, can you just, if this is going to sound like a stupid question, but if you have the big container of oatmeal, can you just, is it the same way as this? Can you just put water in it or not? Or do you have to make it differently? This is instant oatmeal. So I don't know. Is the big container not instant oatmeal? Mr. Prawn says, yes, it's the same. Yes, people are saying. Pat says, have to cook it. It's usually the same. We have some disagreement in our chat. If you get quick oats, says Bella, you can buy big containers of instant. But instant's a kind of oatmeal. The big container is not instant, says Lori and Mike. Quick oats is the same, says Kinetic. Uh, Kay says you have to cook it a little if it's old-fashioned. Well, there you go. All right. I do believe that's correct. April says they have quick oatmeal, medium cook, and long cook. Arvik says I used to buy the cylinder container. You have to cook it. Does it taste better? How long does it taste to cook? I think I did that years ago. I just, I just stopped. I haven't done it forever.
Quaker Oats, how to cook oatmeal. Traditional oats, old-fashioned. Uh, stovetop, old-fashioned. Boil water or milk and salt. Stir in oats. Cook about five minutes over medium heat. Stir occasionally. So with the old-fashioned Quaker oats, you have to boil some water and then put the oats in. And then cook for five minutes over medium heat. Okay. Maybe I should try that. Steel cut oats. Uh, bring more water or milk to a boil. Stir in oats. Reduce heat to low. Simmer uncovered over low heat for 25 to 30 minutes. Uh, that's, that's steel cut oats. So I will not be getting the steel cut oats. So old-fashioned Quaker oats is you boil, I mean, you can cook in the microwave too, but on the stovetop, boil some water, stir, stir in the oats, cook about five minutes over medium heat. There's, I haven't had, I'm so used to having instant oatmeal, is the uh, is the old fashioned in the big thing better than the instant? April says Bob's Red Mill has good oatmeal. Old fashioned tastes the best. Ruth says. Kay says the steel cut's supposed to be better for you. Twenty five minutes isn't better for me though. Yassine says no difference. Bigger chunks. <laughs> William says you can see it shining in the other room. I don't know about that. Yeah, I mean, it doesn't take, it doesn't take long to cook the old-fashioned. The other thing is I haven't tried cooking it with milk. They have a quick steel cut if you can find it, says April Coco. Lynn says, unless you plan on making a lot, I would just stick to instant. Does the, does the big thing go bad? They offer instant steel cut? Old fashioned is not gluey? Old fashioned can get gluey. Old fashioned is not gluey. Kay says it doesn't go bad. Maybe what I like is when it has some milk in it. Do you guys cook it with milk at all? Boil milk? What do they do to oats to make it instant? I don't know. I don't even know. I feel stupid. Trax and Relax says, I only make it with milk. Hans Niskatuki says, it tastes better if you add lots of butter, sugar, and salt. Can you just boil water and put the oats in directly? Well, that's what it said you could do. But you have to just let it cook. With the old-fashioned oats, it says you can just put it into boiled water. Um, April Coco says, just plain water is bland. I do half Milk, half water. Uh, t William says, if you get the cylinder oatmeal, keep it in the fridge to keep the mealy bugs out. Oh, thank you, Texas Smoke. Oh, Texas Smoke says, come to Texas so Karen and I can take you to Bucky's. I'd love to go to Bucky's sometime. I've never been. I'll let you know if I go. I'd love to visit. Uh, thank you, Texas Smoke. That's really nice of you. Texas Smoke 911. I'd love to go to Bucky's one day. 
I, I also want to visit Texas. I really spent no time there. Basically, I spent like two days in College Station like 20 years ago. Thank you, hey, Texas Smoke. That's really nice of you. Thank you. Oh, thanks to Sheba. Wow, you guys are so generous tonight. Thank you. Sheba says, instant oats are the same thing. They just press them flat so they cook faster. You can buy instant oats in the big containers. If you don't eat often, stick to the packets. They stay fresh longer. Interesting. Thanks, Sheba. Um, MyCaptainOats.com says instant oats undergo additional cutting process, which cut the old flakes into smaller flakes for quick preparation. The texture of instant oats tends to be creamier and smoother compared with rolled oats. Okay. That's from MyCaptainOats.com. Now, I'm reading an article on eatingwell.com where somebody says that instant oats often have salt and added sugars. I will say that these are the 365 instant oats from Whole Foods, and literally the only ingredient is organic rolled oats. There is no sodium and there is no added sugar. So you can actually see it on the box. Hotel says steel cut oats have the amazing texture. I do feel like when I have the instant oats, it doesn't taste as like, like, uh, what's the right word? Thick, maybe. Uh, like thick and substantial as like oatmeal I might have out somewhere. But maybe when I have oatmeal out somewhere, it's old fashioned or... Uh, steel cut or whatever. No, I, I, raisins taste great, but for me, it would, it, uh, that's I'll start having too much sugar. Cajun shrimp said add raisin, raisins. The monotropic guitar says, meanwhile, I'll be making pancakes. Bella says, inst uh, April says, instant can be mushy. Sheba says, you can cook steel cut in the rice cooker. Oh, Quaker Instant has some sodium in it? That's interesting. I have another, another, I wonder if this has any. Uh-oh. My other box of it I have. I have another box in here. Uh-oh. This is Quaker Instant. No! Okay, this is Quaker Instant. I have some of this lying around. And this has three per, 75 milligrams, 3% sodium per packet. It's not that much. But it does, it has no added sugar. But yes, the ingredients in this are whole grain oats, calcium carbonate, salt, reduced iron. Hmm. So this one, this one has a little extra salt in it, whereas this one doesn't. Not that much more. Sheba does not like the Quaker packets. I had almond milk the other day. I didn't love it. <laughs> so the stream we need to do... Wow, I'm very excited that we actually got to try the mopping. That's exciting. Um, the stream we need to do is we need to do at some point soon the stream where I cook all of this food that I have. I've been sent I've been sent packets of food over the last ten months or so, and a lot of it's like add water to it. So we got to just cook a bunch of that stuff up. So we'll be doing that soon. <laughs> 
That's like the next. This this stream that we did tonight with the with the mopping was on my list for a long time. An oatmeal stream? I don't know if we're gonna do that. Yeah, the just add water stream. Thanks, by the way, to all of our moderators: K, Raven Riley, J A, uh, Linda Belk, um, David Green. Hang on one moment here. Oh my gosh, another donation. Texas Smoke is being so generous, it's crazy. Wow. Texas Smoke 9111, another donation. Come to Houston. Uh, Beards City in the South. Karen and I will hook you up with the best food here. Interested food city, I promise. Look, I really want to go to Texas. That actually would be a good trip. Uh, I, as I've, I, I've talked about this before, I've only been in Texas for two days in College Station. That's it. And that was like 20 something years ago. Um, I think, yeah, about 20 something years ago. So I'd really like to go to Texas. Um, that would be a fun trip to do, to do some streaming, you know? So I really should, uh, that'd be a good in the U S trip to do. Cause I'm talking about going different places and doing some live streaming. So, um, and we have some viewers in Texas, I know, you know, so that actually is a really good idea. If you didn't hear, I'm supposed to go to, if, as long as if it happens, Margaret and I are supposed to go to Florida in April. We're supposed to go to Miami for a few days and Key West for a few days. So I am planning on doing some streams from these places. And I will have my laptop with me in case some big news happens. I should be able to jump on and do an agenda-free TV stream. But we'll be doing some, hopefully if this all ends up happening, some Florida streaming in, in April. But Texas would be great. I would love to go. I'll definitely let you know if I'm going. I'd like to go to Houston. I'd like to visit Austin. I'd like to visit a bunch of places there. <laughs> Pardum says, you need a passport to go to Texas. Jesse says, Texas would be fun. Linda Belk is in Texas. I know that. Dolly Mama Drama is in Texas as well. We have, isn't... Um, who else is in Texas? Aaron Easton, I think, is in Texas. Am I wrong? Isn't Aaron in the suburb of Austin? Aaron Easton? Oh, Raven Riley's in Texas? Where are you, Raven? Yeah, Chris Lund is in Texas, but we haven't heard from Chris Lund in like a year and a half. I, I hope he's okay. I just, no one's heard from him. I've tried to contact him. April Coco has never been there. Joe is in Texas. Big Sky is in Texas. <laughs> oh, thanks, Texas Smoke. Texas says, Linda Belk is always here. She rocks. Thanks, Texas Smoke. I appreciate that. Is Texas Smoke refer to barbecue? By the way, J.A. got, our, our moderator J.A. wanted to share some old books he got. He got an Alice in Wonderland from 1977, Eastern Press leather bound. Old, really good condition Alice in Wonderland book. John got that one. Then he got uh, a bunch of Eastern Press leather editions. Got them for free. Eleven were in the original shrink wrap. It's funny, but some of them are like new, like Freakonomics is in one of them. They're like, some of these are new books, like newer books, but they're in this kind of nice old style binding. That's cool. John has all kinds of stuff. That's why he's called the Eclectic Collector. You can ask John about the books in the chat. says he got them at the local library and agency that gives stuff away to the community for free. Very cool. Um, let's see here. Lynn says she has family near Troy. Troy. 
No, but seriously, Texas would be a good trip. I, I've really wanted to go there and spend some time there. That would be fun. That would be a fun trip. Yeah, kinetic. Wait until I'm on my computer. When I'm on my computer, it's easier for me to show photos. We can show your uh, home computer lab. I'd like to show that. Maybe we'll do that. Maybe we'll do that. Joe says, come to Vermont. So many places to visit. But I mean, Houston would be cool. There's Houston, there's Dallas, there's San Antonio, there's Austin. Oh my gosh, so many places. Maybe we'll do it. It's a good idea. Thank you again, Texas Smoke. That's really nice of you. April says, I know not to mess with Texas. Hotel USA says, San Antonio has great architecture. Hey, David Ferriello is here. Hey, David. Quick news check. Quick news check. AJ is modding too, by the way. Thank you. Uh, Trace was watching over there on Twitch. I think it's Trace. Thanks, Trace, for watching on Twitch. Texas Smoke says, Houston is most diverse within North America, only Toronto is more diverse on the whole continent, hence our amazing food scene. I watched a couple Keith Lee videos. Anybody watch Keith Lee videos? He goes and reviews restaurants. I believe he was in Houston for a little while. Um, so usually what happens, usually, well, I don't know if it's usually, I do feel like when I start saying like, oh, we're kind of in like a, a news lull, then usually something happens pretty fast. <laughs> when it gets to the point where I'm talking about it, usually something happens. So we'll see. But we always say, it's like every few months we have this discussion. Uh, Meg Sweet is here. Kay says, I lived there for one year and I hold my tongue. Uh, what else can I tell you? Hang on, where's my chapstick? Where's my lip balm? My Agenda Free TV lip balm. Oh, I want to show you the, the spray bottles. Little, it's time for a spray bottle review. We're doing spray bottle review because I, these mops I had for like nine months and I didn't open and I finally opened them. I also had, I ordered a couple of spray bottles because I was like ordering some cleaning surprise and I just opened them. So let me, I want to show you this. Where are the two, there's two of them. So I ordered two highly reviewed spray bottles on Amazon. I'm actually going to post them. I'm going to post the links to these right now. Um, give me one moment. I'm going to leave these right here. 
These are the two. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to talk to you while I do this. So I'm going over to the computer, um, and I'm about to post the links to the two spray bottles in the chat. So let me just look them up, uh, and then we can discuss them. Spray bottles. Uh, bottle, let's see. Okay, I got them. The Air B plastic spray bottle and the Un Un Unico plastic spray bottle. Uh, Air B 24 ounce spray bottle. That's this one. I'm posting it right now. Air B 24 ounce spray bottle. Okay, I just posted the link to one of them, and then there's the Unico 16 ounce spray bottle. Unico 16 ounce spray bottle. I gotta post it in Twitch too. Okay, so I'm gonna post it in Twitch. Hang on, Twitch. Can you spray oil with them? I don't know that they're made for spraying oil. Gemma Girl says, I love a good spray bottle. Hold on, let me just post the other one here. All right, so they're posted on both platforms. So, uh, there's the air, these were both highly rated on Amazon, okay? The six, this is the 24 ounce and the 16 ounce. Why does this one not look bigger? The blue one is bigger. It's thicker, the blue one. It's thicker, it holds more, the blue one. So, you might think, okay, they look pretty much the same. But they're not the same. And I like the red one better. First of all, I like the size. It's a little one. It's kind of a little convenient size. I'm, I'm going to keep one on my desk in case I need to, like, you know, spray down the desk or spray the computer, you know, spray a little microfiber cloth and clean the computer, computer monitor or something like that or clean a spot on the desk. So this is a nice little small one. But um, here's the thing. So the way these work is you adjust the spray from spray wide to straight shot by, by turning this nozzle, right? So if you turn it far enough, uh, it'll just be a straight, it'll be like a stream, not a spray. And if you turn it the other way, it'll be a spray. The problem with this one is it doesn't like, if you're on stream and you start turning it to spray, it becomes like half spray, half stream stream like even when you're getting to the spray it's still streaming some I don't want it when I'm trying to I want it I want to go from like stream to like narrow spray to wide spray I don't want to go from stream to like half spray half stream to Three quarters spray, one quarter stream, and it's this. It's just the way it's made, I guess, is that even when you even when you start spraying, it's still streaming some, and I don't like that. With this one, once you turn it off away from stream and start spraying, it's spraying. It's not streaming. Does that make sense? <laughs> because that's what. I don't know if I can demonstrate this, it's not going to work. But now I will say this trigger has nice trigger action. It's nice smooth trigger. So that's the that's the spray. I don't know if I can demonstrate this. All right, that see that's stream. That's stream. But then if you turn it on like spray a little bit, you now that's still stream. What am I doing here? Oh, I'm not I'm, I'm doing it the other wrong direction. Hang on. There it is. There it is. So it's like spraying and streaming. It's spraying, but there's a stream in the middle. I don't know if you can see that, but it is. So I really like the trigger action on this blue one, the 24-ounce one. 
it's just, you don't have to press it that much and it kind of just, it's really easy to get the spray going. Um, this one though, I like the spray better. Although you have to spray it hard, push harder. But when you start making it spray, it actually, it's not half and half, it's just spraying. Yeah, see this is like, it's kind of a narrow spray, but it's, it's not streaming at all. Anyways, so I really like this red one, which is the Unico 16 ounce one. It's a nice little size. So if you want a huge one, it's not good, but it's nice little, it's good to keep on a desk. It's not, you know, and if you have to do like a little quick job, you don't want this big thing. So this is a nice little one. This one is fine. I mean, I, I do really like the, the, the uh, sprayer part. It's just, I get kind of annoyed with the, uh, with the half spray, half stream. This is the Air Bee one. And this is the Unico one. Anyways, though, uh, the recoil, no, they're nice. They're, they both feel very nice to spray with. I will say that. If you've never bought, like, custom, they're not that expensive. But if you, I think, like, one of them comes in, like, a set of four and the other one comes in a set of two. If you've never bought custom bottles, they, they do feel nice to spray in. Like, I put, like, either water or cleaning solution in them. But it's a fun thing to have if you do use that kind of thing a lot. Um, but, like... I think they're nicer than one you might get at some random store around here or something. Or maybe your store has nice one, but I especially like these. Anyways, Rui says I'll take the red. I posted the links though. Where are those links? Here it is, I'll post the link again. Can I post it again? Let's see. Will it let me? Will it let me post them again? Have you guys ever bought spray bottles? Am I the only one who buys these things? Uh, you, if, you, if you go back in the chat, you should be able to see the links. Let's see what people say. Uh-oh. What happened there? The, uh... The, uh... There's a, a brief issue with the, um, with the uh, gimbal. Oh, I think I know what it was. Oh, Lori and Mike buys them for the cleaning business. Any good ones? David Ferriello says, I have bought spray bottles. Kinetic says, good one for disciplining the dog. Some people like spraying their pets, I guess, as, as like a sort of a pain-free way to make them behave. Tim says, spray us. No, I can't spray the phone. Would they be good to mist houseplants with water? Yeah, especially maybe the small one. I mean, I do like having a small one. It's kind of fun. This is good for me to like keep in the studio, like a small one in the studio in case, you know, there some, once in a while you get a little dirt on the monitor or whatever and you want to just clean it up. So it's good to just have a little one. Yeah, these, these mist and stream. It just, you just have to turn it, turn the nozzle. Lori has a cleaning business. Cool. Lori should have good tips on cleaning. I'm checking over there on Twitch. Um, Casper says you can buy tips, fan, stream, and mist what I seen at store. Oh, Casper mentioned uh, mentioned 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 visiting a surf site. Maybe we'll be there in Florida. I'm not sure. J and P says, I use a spray bottle for when PD misbehaves. He does not like it one bit. LOL. 
I keep one, Kinetic says, I keep one by my monitors with glass cleaner in it for when I spit my drink from laughing. These have water in them right now. Joe says, how can anyone live without spray bottles? Also, it's nice to have them in different rooms. You know, if you have a, do I have a P.O. box? Yes, but, but there's a temporary moratorium on sending me things, probably for like another week, because we got it, there's, we have, I, I've been trying to use all the, uh, all the, all the stuff I have up. And there was a real backlog of mail. It was, it was terrible. It was taking me months to open packages. So we did a moratorium on sending me stuff and I'm almost done. I just have to do a stream where I cook some of the stuff people have sent me. And once that happens, we'll be good. Um, so there is a PO box, but it's for the moment, moratorium on sending me stuff. But like, you know, it's good because like sometimes you're in a room and you might need a spray bottle and you don't want to like walk in the other room and get it. So I, I like having a couple of them lying around. I spray my water in my George Foreman grill when I cook some stuff on it. I just, while it's still hot, I spray some water on it, steams up, it helps clean it. I don't have spray bottles in every room, but I have one in the kitchen. I have one by the computer, um, you know, so it's good to have a couple different ones. Randy J says, Windex bottles missed good. Lunali says, spray bottles are a must. Anyways, so I'm glad I reviewed that. We got that done. Angelina Knox says, love spray bottles. So we've done a, a whole bunch of cooking, uh, sorry, a bunch of cleaning stuff on this stream. We talked about cleaning a lot. I'm very motivated to clean now. Is the spray bottle food grade? That I don't have an answer to. Does that mean you can use it for food prep? Evelyn has done a lot tonight. Are people watching the tournament? Have people been watching it tonight? I was doing this. I watched a little earlier, but I was doing this. I guess I missed the big upset. Sarah says, no. Hey, Sarah, thanks for modding over there on Twitch. Thank you, Sarah. I appreciate it. Ruth says, no. Some of our viewers watch basketball stuff. Oh, the spray bottle could be food grade for a grill cleaning, says Hotel USA. Does food grade mean you can use with food? I don't know. Kinetic says, if it's not on YouTube, I don't watch it. David says, I wait until the sweet 16. Ruth says, I watch things for prime. Raven Riley says, it means safe for food. You know, I was I didn't I didn't cover it, and then I thought maybe I should have. And oops, you know what's this weird thing's going on with this uh, gimbal? Hold on a second here. Let me fix this for a second. I think what's going on with the gimbal is. Did I not choose a mode? Is that what I didn't do? Oh, hold on. Give me one second, guys. I think maybe because because the, cause the uh, maybe because the case is on the phone. I, I, guys, I, I got to real quick take the mic out. I'm taking the mic out of the phone. I'll put the mic back in. The mic is out of the phone. Let's see if I can get the case off without wrecking the broadcast. Ugh. I think we're good. Mic going back on. Let's try this again. Oopsie, uh, where am I looking at here? I think we're looking right. 
Is that what we're looking for? No. Hang on. I need to hold this up to see where I'm looking at. I gotta reattach this to the gimbal. It's a whole thing. You're gonna look at the ceiling for a second. There, okay, so we want it like that. Oops. Uh oh, did I do it upside down? I did it upside down, no. Or did I? What did I do? Oh no, I did it upside down. What a disaster this is. What a disaster this is. Let's see, okay, you're down there. There it is. Let's try this again. I think I did it. Are we back? I think we're back. We're not back? Can you see me? Sorry about that. We were, we were getting a little glitchy on the gimbal. I think we're good though. I think we're good. Oh, you know what I did? I'm sorry. I think I, no, I did it. I'm good. Yeah, that's better. Okay, sorry about that. Uh, let's see. A nude egg came by. Hello, a nude egg. No microwave here, by the way. Oh, I was gonna say, um, so I didn't cover it. Maybe I should have. I didn't think it was that big a deal in the big scheme of things. Uh, I was thinking of covering it, then I didn't. It was the, the Justice Department sued Apple company saying that uh, they were like exhibiting monopoly behavior and not anti-competitive behavior in the cell phone market. And it's gonna take like years to play out. Uh, and I didn't, I didn't cover it and then I could have covered it and I don't know, maybe I should have. It just, I didn't feel like it was gonna ultimately lead to that much. <laughs> uh, so, I don't know. If I, if I think the time to cover it was like, they did a live press conference, that was this morning, and then I was just like, oh, I don't know. So if you were, I'm sorry if you were uh, disappointed I didn't, I didn't cover it. But then after I was like, I could have. So. It's, it was not something that people were messaging me about. Actually, I don't think a single person messaged me about it and said, hey, this is happening. So it didn't seem like there was a huge outcry. But then afterwards, I was like, oh, maybe I could have. But again, I, I don't think I got a single message about it from anybody. It's just, it's, it's got, to, you, you know, I, 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 I I usually stick to the kind of the bigger stories on Agenda Free TV, and so, you know, it was kind of on the fence about it. Oh, uh, thank you, Texas Smoke. Don't burn your foot on your George Foreman grill, a la Michael Scott. I don't even know who Michael Scott is. 
Kay doesn't think it was enough information. You know, I, I think the thing to do if you cover it is to show the live press conference. But I was like kind of like this on it. Oh, it's from The Office? I see. I don't think I ever saw that one. The Office, The Injury, a TV episode. What did he do? He burned his foot while grilling bacon on his George Foreman grill, which he keeps next to his bed. That's what the Wikipedia says. Squidding says The Office. Uh, a new Dag says there will be plenty of big news coming this year. I do not cook it next to my bed, Texas Smoke. Thank you, Texas Smoke. I appreciate that. Yeah, Alibaba says it could have been AFTV too. It could have been... I just wasn't... I wasn't feeling it, and then I was like, I could have. I don't know. So maybe we'll cover the next one. Uh, Joe is here, by the way. Hey, God is my banner. Thanks for coming by over there on Twitch. God is my banner was here. I keep having to, in the app, re go back to the chat. Okay. All right. Well, guys, I think we're getting to be about that time. I think we're getting close to that time. We did some mop unboxings and reviews. We did two of them. We talked about some spray bottles. Uh, we talked about oatmeal. We covered several topics here. It was fun. I'm very excited to mop in the future. I'm going to empty out my... I got to remember to empty out that bucket because I'll, if I don't empty it out, I'll trip over it. But I am certainly looking forward to more mopping action. So I really appreciate you joining me and helping me with the mops. That was exciting. Uh, thank you guys for being here. Thanks to all of our moderators, too. Oh, John 1948 from New Zealand. Thanks, John. That's so nice of you. Thank you, John. I appreciate that. Um, let's thank our moderators. Kay Body, Linda Belk, Sarah, David Green, Raven Riley, J-A-N-P. Give it up to our mods. I appreciate all your guys' suggestions, a lot of interesting suggestions. Maybe one day I'll try a steam cleaner, although I guess a steam mop is not good for my floors. Possibly, I don't know. But uh, helpful cleaning experts in the chat. I got to hear more from Lori. I guess she has a cleaning business. She sounds like she's a real cleaning expert. Uh... But I am glad we got, I mean, like, I have been meeting to do this stream. Those mops have been sitting there. The, the mops and the water bottles have been sitting there for months, especially the mops. So I, I do feel like a sense of accomplishment that I finally got the mops done. Jeez. Sitting there in the boxes. Crazy. And now I have mops that I can use. That's exciting. Uh, let's see. Thanks to Alibaba for watching, Lori and Mike, Joe, Darren Markley, Evelyn in Maine, Lego Mike, Angelina Knox, 
Janet Banks, Ruth Kafasi, Marissa Pugliese, Rob Zoso, Darren Markley, uh, Trace over there on Twitch, um, Hans Niskatuki. Hans Niskatuki, I'll, I'll cover the Trump money situation if it gets to a point where it's like big things are happening. If, if nothing really ends up happening with it, I'm not going to cover it. So I'm keeping up with it. If, if there's big developments, I'll cover it, definitely. So uh, we'll have to see what happens. I posted on my Twitter. It looks like he's going to get a bunch of money from True Social. That's what I think is going to happen. That's what I posted on Twitter or on X. So I don't think it's going to be a big deal, personally. Uh, thanks, Casper, on Twitch. It says, don't uh, get some rest. Don't make tomorrow rough by staying up late. Thanks, Casper. You, Lands, thanks for watching. Gemma Girl. You seen over there on Twitch? Louise. Monotropic Guitarist, thanks for watching. Ryan the Gamer, Tatermong. Thanks again so much to uh, Texas. Special shout out to Texas Smoke. Really appreciate all the donations. Texas Smoke 9111, very kind of you. And everybody else who donated, thank you so much. Really nice of you. Thanks for just tuning in, too, everyone. Tatermong. My YouTube clap plaque, I still haven't found it. That's another stream we got. Well, I got to find that. But I'm, I'm going through my stuff. I opened up the, I got the boxes open with the, with the bottles today and the, in the, in the, in the, in the, uh, in the mops. So made some progress. Awesome. All right, guys. Uh, appreciate you joining. We'll have more live streams soon. I want to do that cooking stream soon. But this was fun. I, I really enjoyed trying out the mops. I am really looking forward to mopping. You have no idea. Dolly Mama Drama, thanks for watching. Informative cleaning night, thank you. Rob Zoso, thanks. April Coco, good seeing you. All right, guys, sounds good. Hey, Spectrum, thanks for watching over there on Twitch, Spectrum13. Um, if uh, there's big news, you know I'll cover it. So um, if I'm awake, I'll cover it, uh, and uh, more streams coming. But uh, appreciate you joining me. Texas Smoke says, good night from Houston. Thank you. I hope to visit Texas at some point in the near future, in the not-too-distant future. Patty Seanbine says, come to my house and mop, please. Ann Irvine Andre, thanks for watching. Ann Irvine Andre, thank you. Angelina Knox, thanks for being here. Pat W. Oh, Pat, I had... I was, I'll mention this next stream, but Pat, I had the, um, some of the other sauce tonight. The, uh, what's it called, Pat? Some of the other sauce you sent. The, uh, swanky fire sauce. Man, that was good, Pat. I had some of that with my chicken tonight. So thanks, Pat. The swanky fire sauce. Mr. Kitty, thanks for watching. NYC Urbanista, Zach, Zachary Zalas, I tagged you in some tweets. I'll check them out. Thank you, Zachary. Thanks for watching. Lego Mike 2. All right, guys, wrapping it up. Thank you so much for joining me for Mop Unboxing, Mop Unboxing and Review. It was fun. No theme song because I'm on the phone. No theme song tonight. We're just going to wrap it up. I, sorry, Kay. Swift Justice, thanks for being here too. All right, guys. Kinetic, good seeing you. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you guys really soon. <laughs>